is it gonna cut my head off? Mm, blah. Yeah, that's way too zoomed. I haven't done this in a while. Um, mm. Well, to the angle of the kitchen. I need to get some water. I have my mason jar. It has an elastic band on. See, see, see. My sister, brother, and I all oh, use mason jars, and we have the same one. And the only way we can distinguish them right now is to have elastic band on them, like different colors. So I've just got the standard color, because <laughs> you know, I'm a middle child. Um. Anyway, I'm so used to just vlogging, and it's so weird not having to hold the camera. Oh well. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am sitting down today and I'm actually going to talk to you instead of walking around vlogging as you usually see me doing. Because I haven't really thought about this video, what I'm going to say. I kind of thought things over in my head yesterday. In my head I was like, yeah, I have loads to say. So I want to talk about my course at Cambridge and kind of the realities of being at Cambridge and specifically doing my course. Because let's just say it's intense. Like, oh, sometimes it's not fun and games, and it's not happy times. So that's why I'm making this video basically in a nutshell because I feel like it's only right to sit down and talk to you guys and just express how I kind of feel about my course sometimes and express my thoughts about going into exam term, my last time of first year, and how I'm feeling right now. So, yeah, it's just gotta be like a mishmash of stuff, just like my brain, just like. I just want to talk to you guys, express how I feel because I haven't done many of these videos where I just talk about how I feel. We sometimes have to have a reality check and I have to bring it back to like mm, life. I want to just make sure that you guys are aware of what, how I feel sometimes and about what as a student I go through. Often I need to take a spoon of my own medicine because I talk about all this stuff and I'm always like, oh yeah, motivation and not getting stressed and being happy and everything. But reality is sometimes I forget that. And oh yeah, as you can see, bad leg. Basically, um, when you're watching this video, I will already be back in Cambridge. So today I've been packing all my stuff and I basically have it all packed. And then I was like, I want to film a video, what should I wear? I looked in the wardrobe, there was basically nothing in there that I wanted to wear. So I was like, hmm. I'm wearing shorts. And it's quite cold. It's the UK, I remember here. We're not in Calabasas. I shouldn't be wearing shorts right now. I wouldn't go out like this. So I do natural sciences, as you guys know. Um, I'm a bionatsky, as you probably already know as well. It's a very big course. There are loads of students that do natsuki. If you ask somebody what course they do, they probably do natsuki. We are like abundant. <laughs> In first year, you choose four modules. If you didn't already know, like you probably know this stuff, but we're just going over it for anyone new out there and anyone that might be wanting to do natsuki. So a lot of you, when you saw my hour vlogs, you were like, oh, you're a geologist, you do geology, which yes, I do earth sciences, geology, but I also do three other modules with that. So I do two other biology modules, which are like biology of cells and evolution and behavior. And I do a maths module as well, the maths one for biologists. I'm not going to talk in detail about what they entail and stuff, but if you want me to do that, comment down below and like the video and I can like explain a bit more about my module specifically. But this video is more about the course and the intensity of it and stress and dealing with it, blah, blah, blah. Any course at Cambridge is hard. Let's get that straight. Um, but I think that with Natsuki, it's hard, like the content, but they don't make it any easier for us because the workload is from what I kind of know, it's extreme. In terms of contact hours and the extra work we do on top of that, it just seems like so huge. Like with art subjects, it's all about reading and you could read for like every single book in the library you could read for days so yeah you can make the workload huge but with natsuki like the baseline workload is so high to start with i will always start my day from monday to saturday saturday as well two or three lectures normally it's three um but on two days i have two Occasionally I'll have four hours straight in the morning because I'll have a supervision at 7.50 if you know you got if you guys follow my vlogs and you know that Friday 7.50 supervision. So yes, I have like three or four hours or maybe two if I'm lucky 
some days on like Mondays and Tuesdays, I might have a practical, and the practicals are like five hours long. And then I fit in four supervisions for each of my module throughout the week. So yes, one of them is at 7.50. Basically what I'm trying to say here is in terms of contact hours and stuff, there's a lot of contact hours for Natsuki. And then on top of that, for supervision, she gets to get set supervision work. So it's like normally essays, um, sometimes there's like questions. Uh, for maths, it's questions. Obviously, you don't write essays in maths. I've taken on a lot of extra stuff. Like, I could just work. But the thing is, I don't want to just work. There are people that will just want to have their heads in books and stuff. But sometimes, if you know me and you know me well, like, it might seem that I just work all the time. But I don't. that's not what I want. I don't want to always work all the time. I want to be doing other things and me dancing and running and, and filming because it's just so fun and it's like it's I'm opening other doors here and there and everywhere I don't just want to have my head stuck in my books that is the danger with Natsuki I feel learning how to not get stressed and not to let work like run your life and take over your whole life sometimes I am completely mentally drained by the end of the day the practicals they're so intense they jam pack as much stuff into five hours or into one hour to to i don't know why because the course is so broad because they whoever's made this course like if there is someone who's in charge of the course and is watching this video i am happy that they are watching this because it's so crazy sometimes how much they try and make us learn. It's impossible to know everything. And I know they don't expect us to know it all for exams, obviously not. Your brain will be like... I feel it just puts too much pressure on the student. That is the worst thing about Natsuki is that the intensity of it sometimes takes the enjoyment out of what you're actually learning. So I chose to do a science degree because I love science, I love biology, I love learning about the way my body works and everything i i love that it's great i think it's fascinating sometimes what i'm learning about but sometimes when i have such a huge workload and such a long to-do list which has gone onto two sides of a4 paper or something crazy it just takes the enjoyment out of what you're doing when it gets to that point it's like it just makes you really doubt why you're like sometimes there doing the course it makes you doubt like your passion for that subject and everything and then your mind starts like wandering and you're like our supervisors and the people that i work most closely with in my college and stuff they told us that they don't think we should have four modules they think like three is enough at least which it's like hello personally if i organized the course i would have dropped one years ago yeah, I have no regrets about choosing Natsuki. Like I, like I said, I love science. I love what I'm learning about. I'm still loving it. I'm still having a great time. I'm doing so much stuff that I would never have imagined. Like I'm managing to fit it all in and I have a YouTube channel. It's amazing. I, I love where I've come. I never would have thought I would be here. But to be honest with you, this Easter, like I've, I've had some breaks here and there, but I haven't really had an Easter holiday. Like, I would have liked to have done a lot more with my family, with friends, and gone to meet people, but, like, I haven't had the time, because there has been so much stuff that I've wanted to try and get done, and, yeah, I could have just been, I could have just, like, said, like, yeah, I'll just do less work and stuff, but, myself, I have grown up as, like, a perfectionist and someone who is very keen to do things very meticulously and thoroughly. Me being me, I wanna get all this stuff done and I wanna try and like revise everything that we've learned. I have had a huge workload, not like put set by anyone, but set by myself because we have mocks at the start of this term again. It's so hard like when you come from school and you know that you know everything for an exam and you, and here and where there's just an endless amount of work that you could learn and there's just so much of it, it makes it so hard and I've, I put a lot of pressure on myself to try and do it all and learn it all and do well in these exams but at the end of the day getting to like the main message of this video is that I need to remind myself like when I'm going into exam term and if I get to this stage when I'm like so stressed and I've put so much pressure on myself to do 
a set amount of work in a day or something i will i will watch this video i will watch myself tell you guys and tell myself that i need to take a step back remember that work doesn't rule your life those are like some of my major pitfalls like i have always grown up with this i've just always wanted to do the best i can and live up to the expectations that i've put set for myself and that i feel that other people have set when they might not have done but you know that's just me stress can like like really mess with your body and i i'm all about good health and stuff and i just need to remind myself of this work doesn't rule me grades don't rule me a b c to whatever they don't rule me a first second third fail whatever it doesn't matter at the end of the day i am paying nine grand nine thousand pounds per year to be here i am paying to get stressed if that's what's gonna happen i am paying to do mocks mocks that like have kind of stressed me out but i'm sick of it's my education like education is a great thing but sometimes like the system is a bit crazy it's so important especially going into exam term when stress levels do inevitably inevitably tend to rise it's so important that you look after yourself and your mental health and your physical health like it's so important there's no state of perfection like there's nothing like that and you have to not put pressure on yourself not work yourself into the ground not jeopardize your health because you you want to get good grades it's it's crazy sometimes why do they do it to us whoever's out there doing it like i obviously people survive natsuki they survive doing any course at cambridge or any university like people survive and get through it but i don't want to look back on my three years at uni and be like i didn't take advantage of all the opportunities that were open to me i don't want to just remember it as a time when I was really stressed and and I all I had to do was work because there was so much of it. I don't want to remember it for that. I want to remember it for like the vlogs, the times when I was having spending time with friends, when I was dancing, when I was doing shows, when I was doing all this new stuff. I want to remember it for that. The other day I just I just was talking to mum and Emily and my my dad and I, I just I just cried because I had to let it wow. I was it just all flood and that's kind of what i'm doing now but i'm not crying because that would just make this video really put a real down on this video i was getting to the point when i just worked so much and i was worried about these mocks that i have and and kind of apprehensive about exam term and i just had to let it out i hope this video has been useful for you and i it's been useful for me because i'm i'm telling myself like holly like you can do this you can do this you can get through it you'll be fine, you can stay happy and positive, it's all gonna be fine. Just remind yourself of all the things that are more important than work because there's so much more to life than work and studying and grades. I've said it loads of times now in this video but I think we've both got the message now. I don't wanna put any of you guys out there who have applied or are thinking of applying or who've got a place to be like oh my gosh like i don't want to do it i don't that's not the intention of this video it's a great course if you love science you will love natsuki it's just it's really important with anything that you like as a person you need to have a limit and you need to control yourself like that's the only way that you'll get through it without getting too stressed and everything people do degrees because they love their subject right that that's why i'm doing it i love science and i have i don't know what i want to do with my life and i have so many aspirations and i have so many ideas um like related to youtube related to this channel related to i have so many big ideas and i'm really excited to to just pursue them and do what i want to do at the same time as getting a degree i hope this video has made sense anyway i feel that we've gone here and there and we've come back to the same message put your health first put your happiness first do everything you want to do don't let work rule your life and yeah i think that's basically what i want to say in kind of a big nutshell not a small nutshell quite a big one good luck to you guys all out there doing exams or whatever you're doing in life and thank you as always for watching this video i hope it's been useful i hope that i haven't rambled too much but i've i've said what i need to say i think and i think it makes sense if you like this video please like it that would be amazing and comment down below like what should we comment 
I loved it when I did the giveaway. I loved it when you guys commented like positive quotes. I was the comment section was incredibly it was insanely positive. Like scrolling through that was made you feel so good. So I'm gonna say if you ever have find or hear a new quote that you think is inspiring, like comment it on my videos, like please. Love that. And down below comment like your um maybe comment what your aims are in life or I don't know whatever you want to comment down below comment maybe some of your aspirations i'd love to hear what you want to do um comment down below maybe some of the strategies or the things that you need to remind yourself every day to stay sane during exams and the thing the ways you're gonna like tackle this i want to hear just comment down below get commenting if you're new subscribe do all that amazing stuff thank you for watching this video i will speak to you next sunday in the meantime follow me on all my social media which will be left at the end of this video and yes, I will say there's there's a lot of exciting stuff. I've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up, like in the short term, not like just long term goals. I've got a lot of stuff waiting and coming up. So I, I'm excited. There are things to look forward to. If I could, I would hug every single one of you. Um, but I can't. You're amazing. Remind yourself of that every day. Bye, my friends.